Hi everybody, in this lesson we're talking about lesson number six, gravitational potential energy. The big idea here is that gravitational potential energy is the energy that an object possesses because of the gravitational pull that pulls it down. So it doesn't have to be moving because what is potential energy? Potential energy is the energy of an object at rest. And this is due to a couple things. It's mass, gravity, and its position. Because if a book, for example, is near close to the ground, it may, for example, do some damage. It will hit the ground for sure if you nudge it. But let's say, for example, the book's on top of the Empire State Building, and then you nudged it. That now that book will be falling a lot faster. It will definitely do some damage because it had a lot more gravitational potential energy. So we call this gravitational potential energy. We call it GP, which stands for gravitational potential energy. And again, its units are in joules. Of course, there's other types of potential energy. There's chemical potential energy. You might remember electric potential energy, which is what you call volts back then in Science 9. So what is the formula of gravitational potential energy? Well, because it depends on mass, gravity, and height, the position of it, GPE can be found by multiplying mass times gravity times height, where M is the mass in kilograms, Gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared, it's acceleration, and height is the height in meters. So that means if something's taller, it will have more gravitational potential energy if it's higher up. Okay, but how does GPE relate to work then? Well, let's look at these two formulas side by side. We know from previously work is equal to mass, or not mass, is equal to force times displacement. And we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration. If we were to plug this force into here, what we're going to get is we're going to get work is equal to mass times acceleration times displacement. Okay, let's look at GPE then. GPE, as we just saw, was mass times gravity the height. What do you notice? Well, the masses are the same. Huh. Gravity is an acceleration. And height is a displacement. It's a, it's, it's a length. So because of that, what we notice is these two are the same. Gravitational energy is work done by gravity. So if you want to put that down, it's basically work done by gravity. So let's see what we can do to solve most of these, okay? So look at example number one. The shelf in a school locker is about 1.8 meters above the floor. If your science book has a mass of about 1.2 kilograms, what is the gravitational potential energy relative to the floor? Well, we know GPE is equal to mass times gravity times height. Well, in this case, the mass is 1.2 kilograms. Gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared, and the height is 1.8 meters. If I plug this in all into my calculator, I'm going to get this value, 21.2 joules. So that means this book will have 21.2 joules of gravitational potential energy. Okay, let's take a look at the next example. A student used 85 newtons of force to raise. That should be raised. So let's change that up. A box up to a shelf that was 0 0.75 meters above the ground. What is the mass of the box? Well, let's take a look. We know that gravitational potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times the height. 
Well, we have the height here, but what is 85 newtons? 85 newtons, in this case, is, in a sense, the force. So, in this question, because it's the force, we actually cannot use this formula. It doesn't actually work. Because we're actually not, we're actually missing our gravitational potential energy. So what do we do? Well, what we actually should be solving here is actually this should have been joules. And this should be energy. So now it actually is able to be solved because now you have 85 joules as gravitational potential energy is equal to mass times 9.81 meters per second squared times 0 0.75 meters. So this question, when it was getting created, I just put the wrong values down. So once you plug these numbers in and you isolate for m, which means you divide both sides by 9.81 meters per second squared and divide by 0 0.75 meters, because that will cancel both all these, you should get your mass. What is your mass going to be equal to? Well, if you plug this into your calculator, you're going to plug in, in this case, 85 divided by 9.81 divided by 0 0.75. And you're going to get a mass of 11.55 kilograms. So 11.55 kilograms of mass. So if you were to check it again, you would see that that is the answer. The last example is this. A child, a 27 kilogram child, sits on the top of a playground slide that is 2.8 meters above the ground. What is a child's gravitational potential energy relative to the ground? So in this case again, GPE is equal to mass times gravity times height. You're trying to solve for GPE this time. It's equal to 27 kilograms, that's the mass, times by gravity, 9.81 meters per second squared, times by the height, 2.8 meters. What is this child's gravitational potential energy? So what you're going to get is 27 times 9.81 times 2.8. You're going to get 741.6 joules of energy. So this child will have a lot of energy because they're sitting pretty high off the ground and they have quite a bit of mass. So we are done for today's lesson. As always, make sure you keep yourself safe and healthy, and I'll see you soon.